a ma reader so you don't have to get the violence in april 15 2025 don't worry about your taxes run to a cold place because we're gonna have the violence my name is Amar, and today we're going to review The Violence by Dalila S. Dawson. This book was suggested to me by Goodreads last year, and when it came out, I was so excited to read it, because the name The Violence, the idea that seemed really cool, so I was really, really excited to read the book. The story is about uh, three generations that they are abused, three women from three different generations. So we have Patricia, the grandma. She is a wealthy or married to a wealthy man. She doesn't care about her uh, family. She cares about herself, her image. Uh, so that's the Patricia. And then her daughter, Chelsea. Chelsea is married to David, who is very abusive, alcoholic. Uh, David is not a good father. And then the third generation is Ella is 17 years old, broke from as a child. Um, Ella is even abused by her boyfriend. Um, and she doesn't see that she's abused. She always um get mad at her mom that she let the dad abuses her but she doesn't see that her boyfriend is abusive as well so one day we find that there is a disease called the violence so the violence out of nowhere again on april 15 2025 we hear about it um chelsea is outside with her girlfriends trying to look beautiful for her husband and she hears in the news that there is a violence uh, where people go so crazy, they start abusing and bullying and do all the horrible things. David comes one day home and he hits Chelsea, he chokes her, almost kills her. So Ella calls the police and takes her dad uh, to the facility where they lock him. Uh, and that's where they put people with the violence. And then Chelsea one day, she finds out that she has the violence, that she actually has the violence. So she leaves her kids with her mom, Patricia, and she runs away that we don't know where she is. Patricia, she was planning to move with her husband to a colder place because if you live in a hot place, that's where the violence is. In the cooler places, there's no violence. But Patricia's husband, he leaves her. So now she's stuck with those children and now she needs to find their mom. Through this journey, Ella, Patricia, and even Brooklyn, they learn a lot about the virus, how to get it, why people getting it, all those things. Until the ending of the book, that it's the most cliche ending. It's very expected. Very expected. That's the problem. So the book has an idea. The idea was there. It's, it's the whole, like, we're after COVID. This COVID exists in this world, and we are dealing with a new virus. Uh, people are going crazy. There is other things that we're dealing with. There is abuse. There is bullying. There is uh, generations dealing with things differently. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing else. So the moral of the story, the, the, the theme of the book, the, the point of this book is if men abuse you, maybe you should kill them. That's literally what I got from it. If men are horrible to you, Maybe you should make up a reason to run away from them instead of facing it, instead of reaching for um, help. But like at the same time, I think personally that it shows you when people are selfish and they don't care about their kids, what happened to those kids. So when Patricia is selfish, her daughter Chelsea is the one that pays for that by dealing with David who is abusive and her mom doesn't stand for her. I gave this book one star, and I know this is horrible, but they have the idea. And I, I gave this author a one star for the idea, even though this is a bestseller author. And by this point, I don't know how these people are getting the, the, the bestseller. I'm, I'm sorry that I said it, but I don't know. I'm not, I didn't like it, but maybe people would like it. Maybe people would enjoy this book, but to me, it's one star. Let me know what you think and please leave a comment below and please, please, please share, subscribe, like. Let me know what you think and if there's any other books that you want me to review.